Hey there, Benjamin from Love Starter here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to track conversions from your Facebook ads. I'll show you the steps to configure a custom conversion in Facebook based on your existing pixel, how to send events to Facebook using Google Tag Manager, and how to track conversions from your Facebook ads into Google Analytics 4, GA4. By tracking conversions into both Facebook and Google Analytics, you'll be able to optimize your ads and compare the performance against your other marketing campaigns. Let's jump in and get started. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Watergraph for sponsoring this video. Watergraph lets you quickly and easily create visual reports that you can use for yourself or your clients. You can use it to create single screen dashboards and multi-page reports. And you can find a link to my video that walks through how to create a KPI dashboard using Watergraph in the description below this video. We're going to start by looking at how to set up custom conversions based on a thank you page people view on our website. Then I'm going to show you how to send an event to Facebook using Google Tag Manager. You can use either of these options to understand how your ads are performing inside Facebook. If you'd like to jump to a particular topic in this video, then I've included links in the description below. Okay, now it's time to head to Facebook. I've already logged into Facebook and I've opened my demo account inside Ads Manager. Now let's select all tools on the top left corner. This is the icon with three vertical lines. Now let's select Events Manager. In my demo account, we can see there is already a Facebook pixel. If you are just getting started and don't have a pixel yet, then you can select Connect Data Sources and then choose Web. Since I already have a pixel and Facebook only lets you create one pixel for each account, we can see this option isn't available for my demo account. Let's close this. We can also see that although there is already a pixel, it hasn't received any data yet. So I'm going to show you how to add the pixel to your website using Google Tag Manager. If you've already completed this step, then you can skip ahead using the links in the description below this video. Okay, so let's click Continue Pixel Setup. And let's choose the option to install the code manually. We're now given the Facebook pixel code. Let's copy this. And let's head to Google Tag Manager. We need to create a new tag. Let's name the tag Facebook Pixel. And let's select custom HTML as the tag type. Now we need to add a trigger to fire the tag on all of the pages of our website. So let's select Triggering. And let's choose the All Pages trigger. This will add the Facebook Pixel base code to all of the pages of our website. Now let's save the tag. We're going to come back to Google Tag Manager later, but if you only want to install this pixel on your website, then don't forget to publish the changes to your live website by clicking Submit. OK, let's head back to Facebook. Now we're going to create a custom conversion. To do this, we can click Create on the top right corner and then choose Create Custom Conversion. Or we can select Custom Conversions in the menu on the left. Let's select this option. We can see we're prompted to create a custom conversion. If any have already been created, then you'll see them listed here. Let's go ahead and click Create Custom Conversion. Today, I'm going to create a custom conversion for people who make it to a thank you page. People are taken to this page after they've entered their details into a form. So I'm going to name this conversion Lead Form. We can then add an optional description. We're going to leave the default options for the data source and conversion event. If you are sending events to Facebook, then you could select all URL traffic and change this to the event you would like to use. We can also see there is a message saying that a page view event hasn't been detected yet. This is because we only just set up the pixel in Google Tag Manager and it hasn't been published yet. 
Once you've published the pixel to your website and it's collected some data, this message will disappear. It's recommended that you let Facebook select the category for the conversion, but you can choose this yourself by clicking Select Your Own Category. You can then define the type of conversion you are going to be tracking. For my conversion, I could select Lead, but I'm going to leave Facebook's recommendation. Now we need to create a rule to match the conversion page on our website. By default, we can see that our conversion will match if a URL contains the value we enter. You also have the option of selecting doesn't contain or equals. A good way to check if you're going to match the URLs you expect is to head to Google Analytics and use the search function in the pages report. I'm going to leave the default of contains and I'm going to enter forward slash thank dash you. This will mean a conversion will be counted whenever someone views a page on my website that contains forward slash thank dash you. If you don't already know the URL of your conversion page, then you will need to travel through the steps and make a note of the URL for your website before setting up your conversion. Finally, we can enter an optional dollar value that will be reported for each conversion. This is optional, but I recommend that you try to assign a dollar value to every conversion that you configure. This could be an actual value, a calculated value, or a symbolic value. Now we click Create. That's it, we've created our first custom conversion. Moving forward, Facebook will begin to report on conversions based on the rules we've just defined. And we can see that in order to use the conversion with our ads, we need to configure aggregated event management. So let's click Go to Web Configurations. The custom conversion needs to be assigned to the domain that you will be advertising using Facebook ads. We can see I've already verified my domains, but if you haven't yet, then select Manage Domains and follow the steps to verify your own domain. Since I can see my domain, I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to choose Manage Events. Then we click Edit. And we click Add Event on the top right corner. Then we need to select Custom Conversion from the drop down and choose the conversion we created as the event. And we click Apply. Now I want to show you how to use the conversion with your ads. So let's select All Tools and choose Ads Manager. Let's create a new campaign. And I'm going to choose Conversions as the objective. Let's click Continue. I'm going to leave all of the default options, but you will want to name your campaign, set an appropriate budget, and check the other settings. And I'm going to click Next. Under Conversion, we can then see that Website is set as the default conversion event location. And we can see our Facebook pixel. We can then choose the custom conversion we just created under Conversion Event. And you can then finish setting up the ad set and creating your ads. I'm not going to walk through all of those steps in this video, so I'm going to close this. And in terms of reporting, once your campaign is up and running and you're receiving conversions, you can choose Columns, then Customize Columns, and then search for the name of your conversion. They will also show up by selecting Custom Conversions on the left. So that's how you can create a custom conversion in Facebook, how to use it with your ads, and how to use it for reporting. Now that we've covered the steps to create a custom conversion, let's take a look at how we can send events to Facebook using Google Tag Manager. Let's head to Facebook's developer documentation to look at the events we can send. Facebook lets you track standard events or custom events. Standard events provide you with predefined event names and parameters, while custom events let you send any details you like to Facebook. 
we're going to add one of the standard events to our website using Google Tag Manager. So let's take a look at the recommended naming. We can see there are standard events for actions relating to a range of websites. For example, there are a number of events that could be used on an e-commerce website. We're going to add a custom event when someone subscribes to our email list. To do this, we're going to be using the complete registration event. We can see that this event can also include three optional parameters, which are content name, currency, and value. Let's head back to the previous page. Under tracking standard events, we can see some sample code for implementing events on our website. So we're going to copy this. Now let's head back to Google Tag Manager. Since we only want to fire the standard event when people have subscribed to our email list, we're going to create a separate tag. If we added the event to the existing Facebook pixel, then this would trigger on every page, which we don't want. So let's create a new tag. Let's name the tag Facebook Event Registration. And let's select custom HTML as the tag type. Now let's paste the sample code we copied. And let's change the event name to complete registration with a capital C and a capital R. And let's add the content name parameter to the code. And let's enter email subscriber as the value. Now let's select advanced settings and then tag sequencing. We need to enable the option to fire a tag before this tag fires. And we need to select Facebook Pixel as the setup tag. This ensures that the Facebook Pixel base code is fired before our event. If it fired after this event tag, then the event wouldn't be sent to Facebook. Now we need to add a trigger. And I'm going to select my email subscription trigger. This is a trigger I've already created in Google Tag Manager that will fire tags when people have successfully subscribed. To learn more about creating triggers in Google Tag Manager, I've included links in the extra resources below this video. Now let's save the tag. I'm happy with the tags and triggers I'm using for my Facebook Pixel, so I'm going to go ahead and click Submit to publish them to my live website. If you need to check your tags and triggers, then you can click Preview to open Tag Assistant and test your tags are firing as you expect. Now let's head back to Facebook. Ensure you're looking at data sources. Then choose the Aggregated Event Measurement tab and click Configure Web Events. Now we need to choose our domain and click Manage Events and click Edit. Now let's click Add Event on the top right corner. Select Choose a Pixel or Custom Conversion, and then select your Facebook Pixel. Now let's select Choose an Event, and let's search for and select Complete Registration. You need to search for and select the name of the event you configured in Google Tag Manager. So if you've implemented one of the other standard events, then make sure you select the event you're adding to your website. Then click Apply. We will now be able to use this as a conversion event in your campaigns, just like we covered earlier in this video. Apart from tracking conversions into Facebook, you should also track conversions coming from Facebook into Google Analytics. This allows you to compare the performance of your Facebook ads to other campaigns you're running. There are two parts to this. 
first you need to ensure you've configured conversions in Google Analytics. Let's take a look at the steps for the latest version of Google Analytics, so GA4 or Google Analytics 4. If you're using the older version of Google Analytics, so Universal Analytics, you can find extra resources in the description below this video. We're in my GA4 demo property and we're going to create a conversion based on people viewing a thank you page on our website. To do this, let's select Configure. In GA4, any of your events can be enabled as a conversion. We can see this in the column on the very right. Since we want our conversion to be based on a specific page, a thank you page, we can't simply enable the page view event as a conversion. This would mean all of our page views would be counted as a conversion. So we need to create a new event. To do this, let's click Create Event. I want to track people viewing my thank you page as a separate event, so I'm going to name my event generate underscore lead. And now we need to configure the conditions for when we want this event to be triggered. Let's enter event underscore name, then equals, and let's enter page underscore view. This ensures that we're only matching page view events. Now let's click add condition and we're going to enter page underscore location, then contains, and let's enter thank dash you. This will mean our new event will trigger every time someone views a page on our website that has a URL containing thank you. Now let's click create. If you've just created the event, then you'll need to wait 12 to 24 hours before you can see it in your reports. Since I created the event earlier, we can see it's already in my demo property, so I can click the option to enable it as a conversion. Now that you're tracking conversions, then the second part is to add campaign tags to any links in your Facebook ads that send people to your website. Let's head to the Google Analytics Campaign URL Builder. Here we can see the URL builder, and what we need to do is enter the landing page we'll be using in our Facebook ad at the top. Then we need to define a source and medium for our campaign. I recommend entering facebook.com as the source. This is where the message is seen. And then I recommend entering social as the medium. This is how the message is communicated. By using social as the medium, it means our paid traffic from Facebook will be reported separately to our organic or free traffic. This is because organic traffic from Facebook will be reported as a referral for the medium. At the bottom, you can then find the campaign tagged URL to use in your Facebook ad. I also recommend you consider defining a campaign ID if you're going to import cost data to Google Analytics and you can also use the content tag to distinguish between different ads you're running on Facebook. To learn more about campaign tags, I've included links in the extra resources below this video. So that's how you can configure custom conversions in Facebook and how you can send events using Google Tag Manager. Have you set up conversion tracking for your Facebook ads? I'd love to know, let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this one. Thank you so much to Watergraph for sponsoring this video. You can find a link to my video that walks through how to create a KPI dashboard using Watergraph in the description below this video. I'll see you in the next video.